Now yesterday I uploaded a video about improving your timeline with color grading your uh, type of different layers. I mean video layers, uh, title layers, anything that you have in the source section can be put to colors on your timeline. Now Marvin Edwards asked me if I could uh, or if it was possible to kind of make a preset out of this and I wasn't really sure about that so I had to dive a little bit deeper and uh, guess what we managed to make some presets so this video is improve your timeline part two first I'm gonna open this so you know this is uh, just some additional things that I kind of need to improve my overall like workflow gear wise you know you have this quick release things here which is quite awesome mount this on something or mount this on the camera and everything that you film with or lights or whatever and then mount these on uh, whatever tripod you have and I got two of these because I've been lacking these for quite some time. Now this was also sent over to me. This is the multicolor LED from Aperture. It's uh, super tiny and of course this was sent over to me after I gave them a lot of money because this wasn't really cheap and um, instead of getting something else I decided to uh, use all of that money on something that I can take on uh, with me on a travel whenever that happens. Now with that said let's jump over to uh, LumaVision and uh, let me show you exactly how you can create presets out of these uh, colored layers which we talked about in the previous video. So this is part Two. Now once we get over to LumaFusion, let me show you how extremely easy this is to pull off. Now it wouldn't be possible if it weren't for Marvin Edwards, which actually asked if this was possible. Which also made me to dive a little bit deeper into it and actually figuring out how to do it. Now this is super simple, so we're just going to jump into it and create a new project. Now it doesn't matter what you type uh, in your project name here and it doesn't matter if you have uh, uh, 60 FPS or four, 14 or 20 or whatever frame rate you have, you're simply just gonna create a new project because all of this will be saved anyway. So create a new project, then we're simply gonna move over to, uh, uh, let's say we can import a new main title here and uh, we can go into edit on this. Now we're just gonna delete your text here and we're gonna tap on the save button right away, so it's blank. And on this one, we're gonna choose, uh, let's say, we need to have something which is putting it in an order. So just uh, color orange, like that, save. And now we're gonna do that again. Color yellow, okay, and save. Again, color and green. Now the next one is uh, red and pink. Let's see, color red and save. Now again, last one, color pink. I don't know if it's pink or purple, but anyway, and save. Now what we're gonna do is to simply delete this uh, text layer here. And we're gonna see here we have, uh, let's see, we have six colors, right? I forgot turquoise, so we have one, two, three, four, five. Uh, we need turquoise as well. So we're gonna do the same thing into edit here, delete this and just save it to color turk like that and save. So now we have all of these um, text layers here with the different name. Now what we're gonna do is to tap on the green one, color green and select green color orange, select orange, color pink, select pink, and red, then red and turquoise and turquoise and yellow on yellow. So now what we're gonna do is to just take the uh, yellow one, drag to your timeline, red one, uh, pink one, let's go with green next, then maybe orange, and then turquoise. So here we have six different colors to six different layers. Now, what if we just delete this 
And let's say if we just uh, exit LumaFusion as well, so we can go into the entire process once more. So now that we reloaded LumaFusion, let's go on and create a new project. Let's just change the, what just happened? Let's just change the frame rate to 60 and maybe the aspect to portraits, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Now let's go over to green again. So green is still green, orange, still orange, pink, pink. Red is a red, and now let's check out yellow is yellow, and turquoise is turquoise. So there you have the way of saving these as a preset, so you can easily organize it in a better way if you want like the cinematic bars. Uh, let's say you're gonna name this uh, orange, which is uh, here. You're gonna name that cinematic bars, and once the name is a cinematic bars, you choose the color orange, and every time you import that cinematic bar, it will be orange, just like this one. So this is named cinematic bars, and I chosen the color orange for this. So every time, it doesn't matter how many times, but every single time I import this one, it will be the color orange. So there you have the super simple way of creating the, uh, the presets out of uh, layers, like especially in the title section. And this is really awesome because you can like name one cinematic bars, which is always going to be orange. Uh, you can name one which is always going to be m like your main like title. Uh, you can do like intro title. And uh, you can also do um, different effects, like this is for glitch effects, this is for whatever. This is something that I actually didn't realize we could. Hmm, how about that? Something about LumaFusion that I didn't know until now. Yes, I hope I find anything else though because um, this was actually quite fun and I was really eager to make this video because it was something which was brand new to me. Even though a lot of you guys probably knew this already, I didn't and uh, yeah. Yeah, anyway, subscribe if you like this video and uh, of course share and like if you, if you want to do that and um, I'm just gonna head uh, downstairs to see if I can find something else that I can figure out about LumaFusion that I probably didn't know. Hmm. Yeah. See ya.